agenda item 5b that's rez 2015-07 bolleton farms incorporated it's on bemis road it's r21 uh, and conservation to ea mr davenport yes sir subject property ultimately is being requested to go back to our all agricultural zoning which is ea zoning you have the history of the property it has a long history for agricultural uses but it has developed around it an urban urban way and so with that there is some conflict but ultimately it's about approval for one uh, or another zoning for either ea or ra is where we believe the debate stands you have that history in the position in your notes um, don't have any updates for you tonight since yesterday's work session do anticipate the applicant's attorney to speak for it and nothing else to report for the commission tonight okay. commissioner we have any questions for mr davenport all right hearing none we'll move on into the uh, public hearing portion of it first off is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request anyone that would like to speak in opposition Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Uh, Bill Langdale, 1007 North Patterson Street here in Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the commission, thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. I represent Bolleton Farms, the applicant at this request. As most of you know that have grown up here in Valdosta, the Volaton family is a farming family and has been in that, in that business from the dairy farming to the land farming for more than 100 years. This property, uh, although I, don't, I can't state in my place, has been in farming for 100 years because I hadn't been around quite that long. <laughs> it has been for most of that time, at least for I can speak for at least 60 years, and I'm not going to admit anything <laughs> up further than that. All the applicants want is the property to be left the way it always has been. It's always been agricultural. That's what they intend to do with it, and they would like to ask you to put it back where it was. They, after all, you know, they didn't request that it be changed. And, uh, the, you know, according to them, they didn't know it had been changed until recently. And I know we went through the change a number of years ago, and I'm fully aware of the fact that when we adopted it, Lowndes County adopted the new zoning, an opportunity was given to change property back, and some people knew about it and some didn't. I know by my practice, I've changed a number of tracks back that weren't within that, that grace period. The people didn't know about it. This happens to be another one. Uh, you know, currently the property is used for farming. It was, a, it was a dairy farm for many, many years, till about probably 10, 15 years ago. Scotty, I imagine you know, because you go in and out that way. Um, right now it's farming, it's row crop. They are, they're growing soybeans, corn, and uh, peanuts, and they rotate it. Uh, there's some timber, very little timber, not any timber of any real value. You know, the family feels that, uh, and there's no hidden agenda. I've had several people ask me, said, well, you know, what's the hidden agenda? Uh, and this is the first time I've ever carried property back to agriculture. And, and, and you know, the thing to notice, we're all driven by the profit motive. And this happens to be a family that's not interested in profit. I think it's rather commendable. But in any event, the, the statement they made to me, there's too many rooftops, there's too much asphalt, and too much runoff. And uh, they would like to have a place where the animals can grow and flourish, and they'd like to see it stay in its natural state. And I think we need more people like that. I don't, uh, anyway, I, I hope you can support the request. I'm happy to answer any questions, and I, I hope we find the decision to be very easy. Okay. Do we have any questions for Mr. Langdon? I just wanted to thank him for clarifying it for me, because, you know, while I'd be the first to tell you I'm about, Development. I hope we're not cutting our throat for the development and, and possible property taxes in the future. But I, I realize it's the right way to do things. Uh, and so, if I'm not mistaken, you said this was changed when the ULDC was changed, and it wasn't requested by the fam. I mean, it wasn't requested by the family. Yes, sir. That's correct. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Langdon. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? All right, hear none, we'll close the public. Up. We have one more speaker. Come forward, state your name and address, please. 
Hi, uh, John Quarterman. I live at 6565 Quarterman Road. Don't worry, this isn't related to what I'm going to say. Um, I, um, as someone else who does agriculture and would like to keep it that way, uh, my zoning is also a state agriculture, such as the current requester is requesting. I find it refreshing that someone is actually wanting to keep some land in this county in agriculture. I and mean, um, also, um, I understand there's some concerns about the comprehensive plan and what it says and it doesn't say. I was at some of those meetings back in, I think it was 2005, and I reviewed the zoning, and fortunately where I was, it said to state agriculture. But I can, I remember there were not many people there. I'm sure the staff tried hard to make sure everybody knew, but apparently most people either didn't know or didn't realize it was important. So it's easy to see how something like this could have been rezoned without the owner knowing it. Uh, in my other hat as president of Walls Watershed Coalition, um, on the map that you had up there, you could clearly see Cherry Creek and the wetlands around it running through this property. And that's all uphill, not only from Cherry Lake and the dam there, but from Cherry Creek Sink, which is a big sinkhole that opened up in a couple of months, a couple of years ago, that goes down into the aquifer. And right on the other side of the river, on county land, by the way, is Shadrick Sink, which is a much bigger sink that's been there for decades, and if I'm not mistaken, is the one that already caused Valdosta to have to sink its water wells twice as deep, from 200 feet to 400 feet, to get under the river water. So uh, I think it might be better to have upstream from all that agriculture rather than large-scale development because there's probably less possibility of adverse runoff going down and possibly getting into the water supply. So for those two reasons, I'm for the rezoning. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, is there anyone else who would like to speak in favor of this request? I'm hearing none, I'll turn it back over now to the commissioners for their consideration. Mr. Chairman, I move that we uh, rezone it back to a state agriculture. Okay, we have a motion to uh, grant the request to move it back to a state agriculture. Do we have a second? Okay. We have a second and a discussion on the motion. Hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Any opposed like sign? Motion carries. Okay, we'll